All right, so what's cool about this car? What's cool about this car is it's a 1990 uh, Festiva that is electric and it has no rust on it. It's in awesome shape. But, but if this weren't something special, and I mean, it's lightweight, it, it, it was ideal. I mean, it doesn't have electric windows. It doesn't have the extra windshield wiper on the back. It bare bones vehicle, so it's super lightweight and super energy efficient. But for what I have invested in this car, even though I bought it for $2,000, fully running electric, it had some lead acid batteries in it, it had a fully operating motor control or everything, I had to uh, buy lithium ion batteries to make it practical. I put brake assist in there, I put a heater in there, I put uh, if I, I, when I total up what I've spent on this, I could have bought a used Nissan Leaf. And the used Nissan Leaf has analog brakes, it has airbags, it has batteries that aren't going to catch on fire and burn your house down, it has batteries that aren't going to crush you in a crash, it has excellent crash rating, it has seating for five, it has more cargo space in the back, it's a modern car. It has good handling, good acceleration. Oh, man, the list goes on and on. Uh, excellent heating and air conditioning. This one I can't even drive in the winter because I can't heat the batteries, can't heat the windows enough to uh, kill the, the ice that forms on the windshield. So, this is a summer car. It's it's a neat project, but I worry anytime I drive it that you know I'd be in an accident and that uh, I would be injured, and even worse that someone who's riding with me would be injured because of the way I have the batteries mounted in the back and just the integrity of the the vehicle. It's just not up to crashworthiness standards of modern vehicles. And I just hope that we don't have that type of an accident and drive it very carefully. Try and get my money out of the batteries. What I'll do is I will eventually be taking these batteries out of this vehicle and using them in a stationary energy storage capacity. Try to put them in a shack beside or out behind the house by the solar panels and uh, store energy from my solar panels that are on the barn here and behind the house.